So I think I've finally embraced the chaos of my life and accepting the fact that I want to be a photographer. That's what I want to do. Even if I never make a dollar on it, that's not why I'm doing it. I am passionate about travel. I am passionate about photography and, you know, wildlife. So if I can just roll all those things together and make a life out of it, that's what I want to do. And I will work toward that goal until I can't work anymore. And one thing that I noticed that I was doing this trip that I've never done before is when I would talk to somebody who didn't know anything about me, when they asked me what I did, I told them I was a photographer and it felt natural and it felt simple and I didn't have to explain anything and I didn't get any weird comments or what I was expecting was like, oh yeah, a photographer, who does it? They're like, oh really, that's interesting. And, you know, they would actually engage in that. And they, you know, I was telling them I was on a road trip to bolster my portfolio. And they're all very supportive and encouraging on that, that line. So it's not a crazy dream that I have. It's, it's an attainable one. So I just need to kind of get over the ideas that I've set in my head about it. Uh, because it's all doable. I can do this and I'm going to do it and I am going to get together an amazing portfolio and I'm going to start shopping around some galleries and uh, I'm going to take some classes and I'm going to just start connecting and networking and I'm going to make this work. So I am so excited. Like the, my Utah trip, I think that was about me meeting people and getting out of my shell and engaging with humanity in a way I've never done before. And this trip is completely about my future life that I want to have. And uh, I'm really excited about that. I think this is awesome. So I had a fantastic afternoon at the Hogue Cellars. Um, I tasted a bunch of their white wines. And I went in there and the gal behind the counter, Mary, I told her that I... I'm in love with their late harvest Riesling. That's my absolute favorite wine. Uh, even when we went on the cruise to the Caribbean, I took a bottle of that uh, with me and it was delicious. So she started me out with the Muscat Canelli. Um, very, very sweet wine, but I loved it. So I bought two bottles of that and uh, one of their dry Rieslings. And I was in there and I was talking to her and uh, then the retired winemaker came in and this is the man that makes my wines carry and it was just amazing to talk to those two i told them about my journey you know losing matt and where i was at and my future plans of being a photographer and stuff and uh, they're going to follow me on instagram and carrie was very impressed with my um, hummingbird picture so it was just really touching. Um, so yeah, it was awesome talking to those guys. And I closed the place down there. It closed at 5 and then here it is almost 6 o'clock. So, and I just got out of there. <laughs> so uh, that's amazing. So I'm in downtown Prosser now. I'm going to get a bite to eat. And then I'm going to figure out if I want to drive home or find a place to rest. And then um, do the journey home tomorrow. So I'm going to think about that over dinner. So I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>
Fajitas de Pollo at El Buen Gusto in the heart of downtown Crosser. And uh, as I was sitting there, I was thinking about home and my cats. <laughs> I know it's stupid, but I don't have much else at home to look forward to. And snuggling my cats is definitely one of them. I love those two little cats. So I decided that I'm only three hours away. I don't really want to have to spend another hundred bucks on a motel or hotel. And I don't want to lug all my crap in and out. I'm like, I've hit my travel limit for this trip, I think. And two and a half weeks is a good trip. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, head home. And I'm just south of Yakima now. And uh, yeah, go home and snuggle my cats and do some laundry. Probably not laundry. Who am I kidding? I'm going to go home and I'm going to unload everything, get in my pajamas, and pass out. So that's what I'm looking forward to. So I got a little teary-eyed thinking that my trip is actually coming to an end. Like, this is crazy. And I can't imagine being on the road for six months. But every time I am concluding a trip, like, it goes by in a blink of an eye. But yet I feel like I've been gone for months. So, like, Lord Huron, they have a song called Meet Me in the Woods, and their lyrics are, um, it's like, how long, baby, have I been away? It feels like ages, though you say it's only days. And that speaks very true to me. So, alrighty. Well, I got about three hours of driving. It's 7.23, so I should be home by 10.30-ish. And, uh, yeah, I'm tired. I'm ready to... I said squeeze my cats and get in my own bed. So catch you guys later. We get in a road trip unless Bree's crying about something. So my road trip's coming to an end and I'm uh, <laughs> just reflecting on some things and I am so proud of myself of what I accomplished this trip. I kept laughing because I don't know if you guys have ever seen, but I think it's called Meet the Millers, that movie where that guy gets a horrible tattoo that says no regrets. But that's what this trip was for me, was my no regrets tour. And uh, it's like, I wanted to see so many things and I just about hit them all. And I am so proud of myself that I did it. I know it's not a big thing. I didn't cure cancer. I didn't, like, pop out 12 kids. I did a freaking solo road trip. Who cares, right? But it's a big deal to me. I took so many amazing photos. I saw so many amazing things. I did so many crazy things. Like, driving mountain roads at night when I can't see anything. And I was delirious by the time I got back to Rick and Sandy's. You know, that was a big deal. Uh how many miles I put on my car, like 4,500 miles, maybe a little bit more, because I got to get an oil change first thing Monday morning, because I'm about ready to hit my limit on it, so, I saw such incredible things, and experienced such incredible places, I met so many amazing people, and uh, if you are trepidatious about traveling, don't be, get out there, see the world you only have one life to live so live it to your fullest if there's something you want to see before you die don't wait go do it go see the world go try that wine go eat that expensive dinner go travel to that foreign country you know don't have any regrets in your life don't go to the grave with things that are left unsaid and undone in your life things that you would regret you know, I saw Yosemite. That was my big bucket list for the U.S. Uh, really, when I think about my bucket list, one place remains, and I'm scared to go there because I don't want it to be ruined, and that's Positano, Italy. So, all right. I gotta stop crying and start driving, so I'll see you guys in a little bit.
see if my cats remember me because usually after two and a half weeks on the road or whatever they don't remember me and they've moved on with their life so let's go see if they remember There's my babies, my baby Jack Jack, and my baby Jack Jack. Hey buddies, do you remember me? You look like you don't care. And I find that to be incredibly rude. Oh man, my plant died. Look at this little baby. Oh my gosh, Tuffy remembered me. Oh my gosh, you're so soft. Jack Jack. Do you remember the mama? I you remember the mama. Yeah, you don't choose. And you're so good. You're good to babies. Oh my goodness, so glad to be home. I like my grandma driving shoes. Oh. <sighs> Alrighty, I gotta unload my car.